one. Destiny is calling, calling you. Destiny is calling and waiting just for you. Your visions and your dreams shall soon come to pass, and defeat just won't last because destiny is calling, calling you. God has a purpose and God has a plan for our lives. Thoughts of peace and not evil to give you an expected end. I would that you prosper, be in health, even as your soul shall prosper. Lean not to your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. And in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Truly we give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the purpose giver, who is the creator, sustainer, and giver of eternal life, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, that which was, that which is, and that which is to come none other than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who came into this world to save sinners, the one who came to seek and to save that which is lost. Amen. None other than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. None other than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who gave his life as a ransom for many. Amen. The one who gave, laid down his life, amen, for you and I. The one that come that we might have life and life more abundantly. None other than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. King of kings, Lord of lords. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. For you, everyone, that have tuned in to another broadcast of the Word Ministry, hosted by yours truly, I am Pastor Billy Bedford. And we truly thank God for you. Amen. Thinking enough to... Uh, tune in and we pray that the messages that are going forth, amen, are a blessing and encouragement to you, amen, to lift you up, amen, amen. God's word is true, amen. God said, let his word be true and every man a lie, amen. God's word is true. It is gone forth out of his mouth and it will not return unto him void. I heard the writer say before one jot or tittle of his word fail, Heaven and earth shall pass away, for heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall stand forever. Amen. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of the Lord endure forever. Amen. I thank God for his everlasting, unchanging, amen, infallible, amen, word of God. I'm not ashamed of the gospel, amen, as Paul said, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, amen. If you are, amen, out there tonight, amen, and you have not, amen, made, amen, that, amen, commitment and confession to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I encourage you to do so. Amen. God, amen, it is his will that all mankind be saved. It is his will that we all come to the knowledge of the truth. And the truth is, amen, God love you, amen, even while you're yet sinners, amen. But God love you so much, he does not want to leave you, amen, as a sinner, amen. He's able to take you from a sinner to a winner, amen, from lost to being found, from blind to being seen, amen, to having your sight. It was at the cross. Amen, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith 
I received my sight, and now I'm happy all the day. And we're thankful and grateful to God for you, everyone. This program goes out to the sick, to the shut-in, to those in the hospitals and nursing homes. Amen. Our prayers are with you. Our prayers are for you. And we just pray the will of God be done in your life. As we go to the throne of grace in prayer, amen, know that God hear, and God also answer prayer. Amen. And praise the name of God. Amen. He told us to come boldly to the throne of grace that we might find help and mercy in the time of need. With prayer and supplication, make your request known unto God. Amen. Tell him what you need him to do for you. I'm reminded of blind Bartimaeus that sat by the highway side begging. Amen. Amen. And he heard Jesus was coming by. Amen. And he cried out loud, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Amen. And they told him to be quiet. Amen. But he cried out even a little louder and said, Jesus, have mercy upon me. Jesus, amen, told them the gay man, go bring him to me. And when they brought him to him, amen, praise the name of God. They told, they went to him and said, hey, the master called us for thee. I stopped by WIL TV 47, located in the marble city of Sylacauga, Alabama, to tell somebody that the master is calling you. Amen. And when they, amen, they brought him to the master, amen, Jesus asked him one question, and that question was, what is it that you want me to do for you? Amen. And he said that I might receive my sight. He didn't ask for a dollar. He didn't ask for a Cadillac. He didn't ask for a horse and buggy. Amen. He said that I might receive my sight. I stopped by WOIL TV 47, located in the marble city of Sylacauga, Alabama, to ask somebody, what is it that you want Jesus to do for you? Do you want him to heal your body? He's Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our God that healeth thee. Do you want peace today? Amen. Praise the name of God. He's Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, the Lord our peace. He's a Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. Praise the name of God. And let's go to him in prayer. We're going to a God that hear and answer prayer. We're going to him that told us that we could cast all of our care upon him, for he cares for us. And God does care for us. God loves us. Amen. With an everlasting love, with an unconditional love, agape love. Let's go to him in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All of our sin and grief to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Lord God, we come with thanksgiving in our hearts, thanking you for Jesus Christ who hung, bled, and died who rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and who sent the power of the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost to remain with us forever. Lord God, I pray for the sick everywhere. I pray for the lost everywhere. I pray for the burden everywhere in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, bind them that, amen, amen, bind, amen, the enemy that tries to come against your people. In the name of Jesus, Satan, the Lord, rebuke you. We command you in the name of Jesus to loose God people. Have your way today, Lord. Bless us, and we shall be blessed. Keep us, and we shall be kept. These blessings and many more we ask in Jesus' name. It is so. It is done. Amen. And thank God.
Deuteronomy chapter 28, beginning at verse number 1. Deuteronomy 28, chapter 28, beginning at verse number 1. You will find these words recorded, reading from the Amplified Version of the Bible. Amen. If you will listen diligently to the voice of the Lord your God, being watchful to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you heed the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your beasts, the increase of your cattle, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall you be, shall be your basket and your kneading trough. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord shall cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord shall command a blessing upon you in your storehouse and in all that you undertake and he will bless you in the land which your Lord, your God, gives you. The Lord will establish you as a people, holy to himself, as he has sworn to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, and all people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name and in the presence of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you, and the Lord shall make you have a surplus of prosperity through the fruit of your body, of your livestock, and of your ground, in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord shall open to you his good treasure, the heavens to give the rain of your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only, and you shall not be beneath. If you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, I am watchful to do them. Amen. Amen. We want to, amen, stop right there. Amen. And talk to you from this subject. Amen. I want the Lord to do it for me, but I also want the Lord to do it through me. The Lord can and will do great things for us. The Lord can and the Lord will do great things for us. And he will do great things through us. He has already done great things for many. And he has also done through things through many. He is a God that is the self-same as he was when in the beginning and he created the heaven and earth. 
He is that self-same Lord. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He done great things for people yesterday. He done great things through people yesterday. Amen. He done great things for people today. Amen. He done great things through people today. Amen. He'll do great things for people forevermore. And he'll do great things through people forevermore. He is no respecter of persons. Grandmama said it like this. There's no secret to what God can do. What he done for others, he'll do the same for you. It should be our desire for the Lord to do things for us. Likewise, it should be our desire that the Lord do things through us. God doesn't just want to do things for us. He want to do things through us. Amen. When he does great things for us and through us, we can let our light so shine. Amen. That mankind may see our good works. To see what he's done for us and see what he's done through us. Not to pat us on the back. Not to give us attaboys. Amen. But that they may glorify God which is in heaven. For the thing that he has done he has done great things, and they are marvelous in our eyes. God wants to use us, and we ought to live so that God can use us anywhere and anytime. Someone once asked the question, do I need the Holy Ghost? to go to heaven. The answer back was, you need the Holy Ghost to go to Walmart. Amen. We need God to do things for us. Amen. Amen. And we need God to do things through us. But that's up to you and I. Amen. We must allow God to do things for us. And we must allow God to do things through us. Praise the name of God. Amen. He's able to do things for us. Amen. The Bible says it is the Father's good pleasure to give you and I the kingdom. Amen. The Bible says there's no good thing that he will withhold from them that walk uprightly. The Bible says, abide in me and my word in you. You can ask what you will and it shall be done. Amen. Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, that will I do. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Oftentimes, amen, amen, we don't have things done for us and through us. Amen. Praise the name of God. One of the reasons is, amen, the Lord said you have not because you ask not. Uh, another reason is, he said, when you ask, you ask amiss. Uh, you ask aimlessly. We do need to ask God, uh, amen, but we need the right intention behind it. Uh, we need, amen, the right motive behind it. Uh, we need to do it in the right spirit. Uh, praise the name of God. Uh, Lord, I need you to do things for me, uh, but I also want you to do things through me. Uh, amen. We ought to want to be used by God. Uh, amen. Praise the name 
name of God. When Jesus fed, amen, the multitude, amen, amen, with two fish and five barley loaves of bread. Amen, many followed him. Amen, but many of them followed him only for the fish and the bread. Hallelujah, we ought to not follow him. Amen, because he can give you a Cadillac. We ought to not follow him just for a big bank account. You ought to follow him, amen, because you love him. You ought to follow him because you want him to use you. Amen, praise the name of God. Jesus, amen, said if anyone will come after me, amen, you got to let me use you. You got to let me do things through you. Amen, in other words, you got to deny yourself. Take up his cross and follow him. Hallelujah. Our Lord, I want you to do it for me, but I also want you to do it through me. Amen. Praise the name of God. What do I need in order for the Lord to do it for me? <coughs> And what do I need in order for the Lord to do it through me? Amen. One thing we need is faith. How do I get faith? Romans 10, 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Praise the name of God. If you want the Lord to do it for you, amen, you must have faith faith. Amen. Hebrew 11 said it like this. For without faith it is impossible to please him. Whoever comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Not only do you need faith, but you need confidence. Philippians 1 and 6 says being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it, will complete it until the day of Christ. You need faith. You need confidence. Amen. In order for the Lord to do it for us and in order for the Lord to do it through us, we must willing to be a servant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joshua said it like this, uh, if it seem evil unto you uh, to serve the Lord, uh, choose you this day. Uh, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who you're going to serve? As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will let God do it for us. We will let God do it through us. How do I do it, brother preacher, when I need this and I need that? Glory to God. I'm glad you asked. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek you first the kingdom of God, hallelujah, and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you. Our God, he shall supply not some of your needs, but all of your needs. Did say all your wants and all your desires, amen, but all of your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. According to his riches, amen, the cattle on a thousand hills belong to him. All the silver and gold are mine, hallelujah. Lord, I want you to do it for me, but I also want you to do it through me. The setting of our lesson in Deuteronomy 28, God said it will come to pass if you are just hearken diligently, if you are just listen, if you are just listen, <coughs> Whoever had you, we need to listen. 
faith come by hearing. If you are hearken diligently, if you will listen to the voice of the Lord your God, you listen to this one, you listen to that one, got you nowhere. But if you will listen to the voice of the Lord your God, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart. Today is the day of salvation. And behold, now is the accepted time. If you are hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord your God, being watchful to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, not persuade you, not encourage you, not even ask you, but I command you this day. That is, if you want the Lord to do it for you and to do it through you, take it as a commandment. I take it as a commandment to love ye one another. Take it as a commandment to love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and as your strength. Take it as a commandment to love your neighbor as yourself. Praise the name of God. Lord, do it for me, but also do it through me. Blessed shall the be in the city, blessed in the field, blessed in the body. Blessed to be the increase of your kind. Blessed when you come in. Blessed when you go out. Enemy come out against you one way, has to flee before you seven ways. I make you the head, not the tail. Above, not beneath. God will do it for you. Lord, do it for me. But also do it through me. And all we have to do is give ourselves to him. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto him. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer. 